if somebody has her, just please bring her back. I need to see everybody. I need to see everybody again. This house is not complete with, without anybody here. That was a Colorado man earlier this week pleading for the safe return of his pregnant wife and two young daughters. And today he appeared in court charged with their murders. And he has already reportedly confessed to the crimes. Chris Martinez has the story. 33-year-old Chris Watts made his first court appearance Thursday afternoon in connection with the murder of his wife and daughters. He's being held without bail until formal charges are filed. It's been nonstop. Police describe it as shattering. First, the disappearance of Shanann Watts and her two young daughters. Now, the arrest of her husband and the search for bodies. At this point, we have been able to recover uh, a uh, body that we're quite certain is uh, Shanann Watts' body. Uh, we have uh, strong reason to believe that we know where the bodies of the children are and recovery efforts are in process on that. Frederick police arrested Watts on Wednesday. Investigators were seen searching the family's home and towing away a truck late that night. A day earlier, Watts spoke about his wife's disappearance and may have hinted at trouble in the marriage. Did you guys get into an argument before she left? It wasn't, it wasn't like an argument. We had an emotional conversation, but I'll leave it at that. But it's... I just want them back. <laughs> I just I just want them to come back. And if if they're not safe right now, that's what's that's what's tearing me apart. Investigators would not confirm whether Watts has confessed, but called it a horrible outcome. Watts was last seen Monday after she returned from a business trip. She and the girls, four year old Bella and three year old Celeste, were reported missing that day. Shanann Watts was fifteen weeks pregnant. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. And late tonight, investigators announced that they have found two bodies which they believe are the bodies of the two little girls.